What's going on, beautiful people? Thank you for tuning in and watching and listening to my bullshit. I got, I got, I got quite a bullshit. I'm gonna bullshit the hell out of you today. I'm gonna bullshit the shit out of you. I'm gonna bro science the shit out of you. We're gonna talk about cold showers and testosterone levels. Uh, so when I first started taking cold showers, I heard, I read articles and in, increases your testosterone, blah blah blah. Apparently, there are no solid evidence, scientifically backed studies that show that this is true. And I've done some research on the scientific lit literature and I couldn't find anything that like concrete evidence that says, hey, you know, cold showers increase testosterone or decrease testosterone or whatever or have no effect on testosterone. So, if we're talking from a scientific point of view, then the answer is it doesn't seem to have an effect. But you guys know I dip my feet in different ponds, right? We go into philosophy, we go into science a little bit, we go into psychedelics. We go into different, we try to get the truth from different ways, right? Different paths. And I'm going to make the bro science claim here in, uh, and say that cold showers can, not do, but can increase your testosterone levels. And um, the way I'm going to explain this as I limit, with my limited understanding, has to do with two things. Number one, the way you breathe, right? The way you breathe, the hyperventilating way of breathing in the cold shower, <laughs> right? What I think that breathing technique does is that it resets your endocrine system. It, it, it resets your hormonal system. And the Wim Hof method, the Wim Hof breathing method, right? Which is like this, but the, the way it differs from just the way you breathe in the cold showers is the retention at the end. You retain, you, 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 you retain from breathing and then you breathe for 15 seconds. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, and he's proving now that using this breathing technique, he's able to reset his, his hormones, his endocrine system. And your endocrine system is responsible for producing hormones in your body, right? So testosterone is the way your body communicates and says, okay, produce this, this much testosterone or you know, downregulate the, the production of testosterone. It all happens within your endocrine system. It's all, you know, your nervous system communicates and it's happening in your endocrine system, your hormonal system. By going in there and breathing like this, I think what's going on is you reset your hormones to their natural state. Now, take in my, keep in mind something. When you're breathing like this, the hyperventilating way you breathe in a cold shower, you are oxygenating all your cells, man. And all of us living in modern society, all of us living in modern civilization, we're oxygen depleted. We're not getting the fresh oxygen that you get here in, in, in the natural world. And we're not getting enough where our breathing patterns are shallow, right? So if your breathing patterns are shallow, you're not getting enough oxygen to your body. You're run by oxygen, right? Everything you need, every, all reactions within your body need oxygen. You, for your body to produce testosterone and other hormones, you need optimal levels of oxygen. So what happens, what I think is happening when you take a cold shower is you're breathing in, you're oxygenating your, your body and by giving oxygen to all your cells and all your body, which is, again, if you're living in civilization, in society, in modern society, you're oxygen depleted. You're resetting, what I think is going on now is, is with all that oxygen you're breathing in, you're resetting, you're hitting the reset button on your, um, on your body, on your, on your endocrine system. And now your body's like, okay, now we can produce the natural optimal levels of hormones that we need to go on about life. So if you take someone who is like lives in an office, you know, when I say lives in an office, works in an office, right? If you're working in an office, you're living in an office fucking 40 40 hours a week, right? And you're living in your car. So you're sitting down and you're having like a shitty lifestyle pretty much, very much civilized to death. And then you, that person starts to take cold showers. Guess what? That person guarantee you 110 fucking percent. That person's got all kinds of issues in his endocrine system. All kinds of issues. If you're sitting down for 10, 12 hours a day and 
and you're uh, bre you're not breathing ox the oxygen your body is meant to, to to breathe that has evolved for millions of years to breathe guarantee you you're oxygen deprived and guarantee you you got some fucked up shit going on with your testosterone levels and all the other hormones so yes you take a person like that you tell that person take a cold shower every morning just don't even change any any sort of lifestyle that you have right now yeah that person's testosterone levels is gonna go up that's why i'm saying it can increase your testosterone levels i'm not saying it will but I'm saying it can, of course it will, because the person now is like, <laughs> is oxygenating his body, is strengthening his nervous system, autonomic nervous system. I guarantee you in the beginning, that person's gonna be shivering in the cold shower. He's not, he's not gonna know how to handle it for more than 30 seconds, right? And that's fine, that's normal, that's natural. Uh, but I, if that person starts to take cold showers on a regular basis, promise you, his testosterone levels will shoot up, will go back to normal, normal optimal level, and his uh, hormones will go back to normal level uh, and he will feel invigorated, uh, feel energetic. Uh, and here's another thing. And uh, again, this is why I say cold showers can increase your testosterone. There is a very important factor that determines your testosterone levels and that is your stress levels, your cortisol levels, right? If you're chronically stressed, your testosterone levels are lowered. I said in another video, I mentioned, these guys are not friends, testosterone, and cortisol are not friends. They hate each other's guts and they ain't gonna forgive nothing. They don't know anything about forgiveness. They ain't gonna forgive each other. Forget about it, okay? They're not gonna forgive each other. So they don't like each other, period. If you're someone who gets easily stressed and your cortisol levels go up like, you know, they're, they're elevated chronically and you just get stressed easy, right? Like anything stresses you. You know what happens when you start taking cold showers on a regular basis, right? Cold shower is a form of stressor. Cold shower stresses the fuck out of your nervous system. Boom! Boom! It's a shocker, right? It just shocks your nervous system. And it's a form of stress. You know, stress can be physical, can be mental. And this cold, the force of the cold, is a form of stress on your nervous system. Now, if you can take a cold shower every morning and you make it a habit, guess what's going on, my, uh, my sweet friend? Guess what's going on? Guess what's happening? your ability and tolerance for stress, for external stress on your body and mind increases. You become more tolerant. You, you, you start to tolerate external stressors more and you deal with them in a more calm manner because you are literally taking in a huge amount of stress each time you walk in a cold shower. That's a lot of stress, man. The reason why you start to hyperventilate and breathe, there's a lot of stress on your body to warm its internal organs because you can die, you can die, you can die if you don't, right? So yes, you're, you're, and, what, and so what I think is happening by taking cold showers regularly, you, your stress levels go down, your ability to handle stress becomes better, your ability to tolerate any external stressor in a calm, confident, manner is is enhanced and anybody who's been taking cold showers regularly you guys know for a fact your ability to take stress has improved drastically again you can explain this simply on a based on a, like a biological scientific perspective and say your nervous system is able to handle stress better because your nervous system has to deal with a lot of stress each morning so then the other thing in the office that little thing that little comment has less of an impact on you, is less likely to stress you out, is less likely to elevate your cortisol levels in your body, right? Elevated levels of cortisol. And therefore, if your cortisol levels are low, your stress levels are low, testosterone is allowed to roam freely in your body. And, and so it's sort of allowed to reach its optimal, natural level, whatever your body is going to produce of it, right? Naturally, so this is why I'm making the bro science claim here to say yes cold showers can increase your testosterone levels because there's it's more It's more we, we like to look at things always very materialistically and evidence and solid concrete It's more than that. It's what it, what is the cold shower doing to me in other areas of my life? Well, it's decreasing my cortisol levels my stress levels making me handle stress better It's giving me oxygen to all my body, right? And that's another thing, you know you're, you're oxygenated, so your body's gonna be more efficient at doing everything, whether it's burning fat, whether it's regulating your endocrine system, your hormonal system. And finally, before finishing up this video, 
Wim Hof, the Wim Hof method. The Wim Hof method basically uses cold shower breathing, hyperventilating with a twist to it, the retention at the end. Uh, and he's proven this shit scientifically. He's proven that, you know, using this, these breathing techniques, <laughs> you can um, reset your endocrine system, uh, uh, reset all your hormones back to their natural normal level, and you can even control your your endocrine system. Like you can your, you can control yeah your not, yeah your endocrine system is reset back to its natural state, uh, but you can control your immune system. That's what's amazing. You know, Wim Hof can do that at will, and he's taking people and they're, they've proven it scientifically, right? For you guys who don't know about Wim Hof, just look up Wim Hof the Iceman. He's he's becoming mainstream now, which I am absolutely happy. Like I'm so grateful and happy because. He's got, he's got something powerful and he's gonna put a lot of pharmaceuticals out of business and that's why it's taking him that long to come to light. But he's using science now to prove that his method, the breathing method, which utilizes the breathing method you use in a cold shower, is able to control your endocrine system, your immune system, reset everything and uh, make you, make you, get you back to your natural state, which Wim Hof always says our natural state as human being is happy, strong and healthy. And that's what it is. Our natural state is happy, strong, and healthy. Our natural state is is natural, normal testosterone levels, and just happiness and and strength in every area of our lives. So that is the moral of this video. Yes, no, there are no concrete evidence, scientific thing, or whatever that says cold charge increases testosterone. However, my claim, as I as I explained myself in this video, right, my bro science claim is that it can increase testosterone levels especially taking into account how it how taking cold showers regularly affects the person's lives stress levels etc 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 god bless you all i love every single one of you guys you're all amazing wonderful beings thank you for bearing with my bullshit as always i love you love every single one of you but don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna sleep with the fishes